Hello, Skinner Agency here. Milko, said a female voice. Who is this? Milko is seeing another woman. Is it for an infidelity case? Your husband's name is Milko. Milko Owen, Xion said. You're his wife, right? What's your name? Isabel Owen. Isabel Owen. Let me look into the extramarital affair of your husband, Milko Owen, I presume. All right. I'll be sure to let you know whatever I find something. Ugh, I don't need any contact info. I already got what I need. If there's no result, I'll contact you in a month. An affair investigation. It's been a long time. Actually, I could really go for a holiday, but the boss has been disappointed in me lately, so... I'll keep a low profile for now. Let's see what we got of Mr. Owen here. Okay. In order to check the items you have obtained, uh, click on the title icon at the bottom right of the screen to access the menu. Open archives. Okay. But, what? It, okay. I have to click directly on the word itself. Info about Milko Owen. He's a journalist working for Crane Newspaper Company. Listed here are his age, address, salary, work history, and the like. Can I not read up more about that? Okay, yeah, yep, got it. Last update was a year ago. Let's hope he hasn't changed jobs or places. Okay, time to start probing around. Choose where to investigate. Uh, maybe we'll start with the newspaper company? There's someone I know here. Why not ask a few questions? Q, what do you want? Came to steal info from us? Uh, Glenn Mayer, journalist for Cray Newspaper Company, member of an art lovers group. Treats me like an errand boy, and apparently drinks two gallons of coke a day. Such obvious info would appear in the newspaper is not what I deal in. Rather, I'm interested in someone who works here. Alright, who would that be? A certain Melkel Owen? Ah, uh, Melko, the guy's always busy. Well, even now, I can't even find him. Does he go outside often? He's out for a story today, and it usually takes time, because he's thorough in his job. Always looks tired, with panda eyes. No proper time to sleep. Huh, so he's overworked. So stays late in the evening, too? I sometimes see him when I come back here at night. It's not unusual in our line of work. The other day, he was driven away by a coroner for pestering him too much. Wouldn't be surprised if he took the initiative to go and, in and infiltrate the morgue himself. <laughs> a workaholic of this level wouldn't have much time to flirt around. Unless it was all happening within the company, of course. Also, I see no woman working in this place. Let's get today's paper. Got the Daily Tribune from Crane Newspaper Company. Right, still the same old grisly types of crimes. I should check out the newspaper real quick. Uh, let's see. First page features a serial killer story, and the other articles are just about as cheerful. <laughs> Goddamn. Okay. Uh, let's check out his house, since he's not around. Turns out a friend lives nearby. It's a rather standard apartment. No human sign. It's in the middle of a weekday, so he could just be at work. What about the wife? Maybe she has her own place. Hmm. Church? The closest church to the back street. Many vagrants from the slums come here to ask for charity. And so do I. Hold on a minute. That's the smell of delicious cookies. Oh, it's nice to see you again. By all means, we have surplus today. So please, help yourself. Sister Maria. She's a nun from this church. Kindness incarnate. True to her name resembles the Holy Mother. Beats me like a pigeon. I have cookies! Yes! Thank you, sister! Also, like, okay, <laughs> we have a bag of cookies. Low in sugar, they have a simple and authentic taste. Got it, got it. <sighs> You're always welcome. Have you come for work in the back street again? Well, as usual, yeah, that's most of my work. I guess you can tell from my appearance, but I blend in easily. In the back street, however, I'm a square peg in a round hole. Goodness gracious, I'm sure you know how dangerous it is, so please, be careful. Avoid unnecessary risk. Even just taking a look might bring you trouble. <laughs> Don't you worry, sister. By the way, 
I have this book for Damien. A book? Famous detective novel. He said he borrowed it from you and, and promised to return it today. But he was unable to reach you. Okay, but what is this book? Okay. A story set in an isolated island in a faraway seas about a string of murders that allude to a children's song. Why do I have a feeling that this is important? I have a feeling it might be important. You're right. I was forgetting. My apologies. He said it was frightening, but really entertaining. He wants to read more in that genre. Then I'll pick something from the same author. Okay. I need to get going. Thanks for the treat, sister. <laughs> Stay safe, detective. Right. Uh, back streets it is. Hold on. This person. Huh? What are you looking at? Uh, Elvesio Urbano, the highest authority in the mo local mafia. Lover of art, pornography maniac. It's rare to see you here. Got some business partners around, so I'm paying them a visit. Paying them a visit. He probably means collecting money. Anyway, you heard the rumor? The rumor? Bonnie's body is vanishing from the slums. Ain't that a... Ain't that a frequent occurrence around here? Besides, security is always so busy recovering corpses. Guess their burden is alleviated now. Doesn't matter. If it's a criminal in nature, police will show up. That's a danger to us. Well, you already got the whole police force in the palm of your hand. Don't want to spend more than needed. Understandable. If you look into this, I want to share... I want you to share me any intel you get. Share? You think I work for free? Got the gall to go against my orders? <sighs> Calm down, that's not what I'm saying. Listen, unless you want to die a duck's death, you better go on living the smart way. Now see ya, pal. Ugh. Right, Skinner Agency. Alright, I have to look into the number from which Milkle Owen's wife called. Let's see. That's odd. The number is from a police station. Cross the lines? Faulty telephone? Ah, <sighs> just my luck. I have to change it to a new one. Now I need to narrow down Isabel Owen's whereabouts. Time for a break. Hold on. What's this? Money was tucked into the book given by Damien. Felt in luck just now. All I but all I can do is return it. Perhaps the next time I see him, but today's going slow. Might as well leave it in the care of Sister Maria. Okay. Back to church, I guess. Perhaps Sister Maria's still hanging around. Wait. Oliver Nelson? He's a real estate agent. Former thug. God forced to drink milk through his nose once. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Why is he wandering around the church? I'd established that it wasn't within his perimeter of action. So we can't be safe here either. Sorry, Damien. I'll return the money later on. Uh, okay. Where do I go then? Newspaper company? You! Huh? Me? Wait, you are... Rosa Saxon. Photographer occasionally works for Cray Newspaper Company. Glenn's personal assistant, uh, pawn and slave. The lady's not an employee at the journal, but she regularly hops by for work. She's well acquainted with Milkel. I'm just gathering some info about a worker here. Does the name Milkel Owen ring a bell? Of course I know him. He often buys my photographs. Is that so? Actually, I was requested by his wife to look into his activities. Really? So he was married? Well, could this be relevant to you in any way? To me, uh, to tell you the truth, we're not particularly in good terms, so... Sounds like she's not the one. In fact, it's quite possible that he hates me. I'm a bit slow and indecisive to his liking. When he dropped a pocketbook and I picked it up for him once, he yanked it away from my hands. He asked me many times if I looked at the contents. I simply picked it up because it fell down. He doesn't trust me. I wonder if there are pictures of his mistress inside. Oh, speaking of which, lately there's a nice scent around him. A nice scent. Yeah, like perfume, you know? It's looking more and more like a case of infidelity, indeed. Now I'll just have to find out the other person's identity. Got enough info at the newspaper company. Let's investigate elsewhere. Uh, okay. Back to Milko's house? Anyone returned yet? Still no signs of anyone. I need to check again at night. Back to the back street, I guess. Here we are again. Could be faster to get Isabel Owen's address by sealing info from the municipal office. I don't feel like it, so that will be a last resort.
could have some people with that kind of knowledge. Huh? Hide! Hide Nelson. Looks like an upright fellow, but is a corrupt informant cop to the mafia. Conceals his frail physique beneath oversized clothing. Oh, great. It's you. I'm in a hurry, so please make it short. I'm investigating on someone... Well, maybe you could help. Who's that? Milko, um, Isabel Owen. I need her address. I'm not sure where she lives. I'm not sure whether she lives with her husband. You mean currently? Well, of course. If that's the Isabel Owen you're talking about, she died a year ago. What the hell? What? I was there, so I remember. They had incessant fights. It drove her to commit suicide. The husband is a journalist, so maybe that's why I didn't make the news. A year ago? I've been negligent with my updates. But wait, more importantly, who in the world was it on the phone then? The call was from a police station. Some cop messing with me? No, I doubt it. After all, I have police inspectors as clients. You okay? Y yeah, sorry for the bother. Thanks for the info. Have this. It's not much, though. I can't accept money. People might mistake it for shady business. Truly the mindset of the Mafia. There's no questions about his affiliations. Night is starting to fall. It was all a fool's errand. What am I even doing here? Trying to regain wasted time? Pure curiosity? Maybe it's just my nature as a detective. Time to go home. I'll take care of the info updates and all that tomorrow. I'm drained. Ugh. John Constantine? Hello? Ain't that other fellow Milko Owen? He sure is home early for someone supposed to be constantly overworked. Ugh! Stupid narrow stairway. Why is he carrying that heavy baggage? A person could fit in that suitcase. Oh! Oh no! No. That can't be. Well, I need to clear one thing before leaving. Is he still here? The hard-working man, detective. Glenn warned me. Said Skinner Agency was prowling after me. Ah, oh, God damn it! Should have muzzled him. Can't believe it didn't strike me earlier that he would sell the info. After all, he and I are in the same type of trade. You know what? It's all right. I wanted someone to know. Oh, please, come in. There's something I want to show you. I suppose you're not going to drop that knife. Not until you're inside. That's what I have to do. Otherwise, you'll just escape. I'm not even interested in your secrets, Milkle. Look at it from my perspective. I have no idea what you already know. I'll just spill out everything. Then buy your silence. Money and new information. Maybe I'll regain today's wasted time after all. All right, I'll play by his rules. Till he's done counting his tail, if push comes to shove, my stun gun might come in handy. It would be a shame to be defeated by a mere journalist. Also, like, I do want to save real quick, just in case. I have no idea how this is gonna go. If money's involved, I guess it's fair game. Now, just to let you know, my boss will know right away if you kill me, so think about your actions carefully now. I'll keep that in mind. Don't want to end up in the can either. So, this is his room. It's nothing strange so far in the furnishing. But there's some pungent smell. Like a heavy-handed dose of cologne. The perfume's strong, right? I tried what I could, but I can't get rid of the smell. Ugh! What are you carrying inside of the bag? Is it, a, like, a human being? How sagacious of you, detective. It's time to let you in on my secrets. You might be shocked, but I'll start with some pictures. The notebook. It's as Rosa was saying. Obtained pictures from notebook. Oh. Oh dear. Wait, 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 what? Well, I have no idea what I'm looking at. Part of Milko's personal collection, since there is no external wound visible. It looks like a doll at first glance. Oh, he's a serial killer. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, this is just this is just like another like Tuesday for me. No idea. Careful now. They're precious. 
Coroners wouldn't let me take pictures, so I had to sneak into a hospital. I prefer corpses from hospitals anyway. I was so interested in bodies from criminal cases and the like. So that's your secret. I guess it's not much of a secret. I am a necrophile that- Excuse me? <laughs> I died, died, what? Okay, okay, okay. Like, I'm just gonna leave you to your hobbies, my guy. I, I, duh, I, duh, I, d just pay me and get me out of here. Oh my God, uh. What is that corpse? Huh? I retrieved it from the slums. Hey, I'm not stealing anything. So it's not illegal, right? They are destined to be burned, then spread over a flower bed. It's a waste not to look at them and touch them before that happens. <laughs> Ew! I have a collection of pictures. My preference is for discolored bodies that died from illness. But obviously, this type is stenchful. When they start decaying, I have to dispose of them. I use my parents' farm for that. You sure a one deranged freak, Milkle! <laughs> Judging someone based on the majority is proof of how prejudiced your world is. I didn't realize the beauty of corpses when I was younger either. How did I even go on with my life till now? Even when marrying my wife, I kept look at her, wondering why she had been my choice. See, I don't like pretty things. When I look at a field of flowers, I just want to burn it all. My wife too was pretty. You, you killed your wife and framed it as suicide? No, nothing of the sword detective. She did it all by herself. My job's gone busy, especially with the crime rate. There were stories every hour of every day. I kept getting home late, exhausted. I had no interest in my wife and I had no interest in my wife anymore. So she started suspecting me of cheating. Cheating, in fact. That was around the time I grew fascinated by the splendor of corpses. I had the chance of seeing corpses on the job. Oh, I had already seen corp corpses during funerals. But these are preserved, fixed, embellished. Fresh cadavers are something else entirely. Untouched bodies are a sight to behold. They have a vitality that even the living do not. I started going to play with the cadavers after work. That's the reason why my relationship with Isabel went sour, you see. Yet, when looking at her turning hysterical, I remembered. I remembered what I loved so much about her. Whenever I saw her pretty face warped by feelings of anguish and resentment, whenever I heard her voice yell, jeers, and abuse at me, my heart would race. I got pictures of her, but they're not what I like. She slashed her throat before my eyes. She was still so lively. I have no interest in that sort of death. How do you even speak of your wife like that? Also, ah! Uh! What? I thought you and I were kindred spirits. We both like to pry into others' lives. Find out what secrets lie beneath the surface. That's just a job to me! <laughs> I derive no pleasure from it! What a shame. You're still unaware of the charm of your work. Being a journalist is a vocation for me. Until I came across that first corpse, my life had no meaning. Or rather, my first true blessing was to discover the city. There aren't many cities out there where you can regularly catch sight of dead people on the wayside. It's this foul city that introduced me to the deceased, and there are many more waiting for me. This is my Garden of Eden. Before arriving here, I had nothing. I just watched the others, and did the same as them. Something was missing in my life. Something in me was left unfulfilled. But I finally found it. I finally found my own way of life. It doesn't matter if others can't understand. Is my very own form of art. In any case, there's no reason for me to kill you. I just go to jail. I'd rather keep enjoying my freedom. That's why I'll hand you some hush money. Keep my secrets. 
Don't mention my stealing the cadavers, nor anything of the sort. If I hadn't answered the phone, had mistaken it for a request, had I neglected to update my info, knew of Isabel's death, didn't cling on to money and time, then I wouldn't have figured out this man's dirty secrets. Now, just nod to show agreement. I will protect my Eden. I will keep leave. I will keep living in Eden. I am the one who dwells in the Garden of Eden. Just nod. Oh, damn, what the hell? I can't draw. I'm not the best at taking pictures either. Because of my work, I write a lot. That doesn't mean I have a special talent. However, I know true beauty when I see it. Isabel. What used to be my wife was now lying on the floor, emptied of life. Whoops. Without thinking, I tried to wipe off some blood that sprinkled on my face. Of course, there's such a thing as bloodstain pattern analysis, and I don't want to be suspected of murder. I better not touch anything. She's not breathing anymore. Let's just call the cops. Yet, the timing was so perfect. Everything is going too well. Captivated by the natural grace of the corpse, I was stunned that a human could die so quickly. Never before I had felt so keenly in the presence of God, they telling me to take what I sought. By some chance, am I loved by him? Is this his blessing to me? Isn't he delivering me from all ties and granting me power? The power to love mankind. If that is so, then why does she have to die? It was unlike her to think of me as unfaithful. Unlike the person she was when she chose me, anyway. Perhaps she was misled by someone else, or she just fell victim to my power. Whichever it is, she is now banished from Eden. Alright, time to move on. Once the funeral is over, I'll be free at last. In my Garden of Eden, each blooming flower will be a dead human body. I waited the arrival of police in elevated spirits. Good evening, I'm Milkle Owen. Hope you enjoy it, man in the Garden of Eden. The partition screen gets in the way, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> so, how did you like my story? Oh, you wonder if I'm in jail? This is actually a confessional little room in church where one may confess his sins. I'm honored to be using the service. Thanks be to God. Let's talk a bit about the main story. What? You think I'm disgusting? I guess that was the whole point in the first place. Then, what else? Oh, are you disappointed in the bribery? Was the story short? Well, just the format, you see. In fact, it's just the beginning. A long story is currently in the works, set in the same universe. I'm afraid I have to leave you now. I have to go for a reporting job. It was short, but I was glad to meet you. I'll see you next time. Yo! Yo! Oh! Oh my god! Okay! Okay! So that was Man in the Garden of Eden. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys do want to play this for yourselves, link to the game will be in the description below. This game is brutal. It's absolutely freaking brutal in its uh, story. And apparently, like, yeah, they're going to be coming out with a continuation of the story, like set in the same universe. I'm kind of excited for this. I, I do love myself a good mystery every now and then. But in the meantime, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you all have a lovely rest of the day. And as always, I'll be seeing you in the next video. This is Lion, signing off. Ciao.